Hello, I'm Claire Granger from Voluntary Norfolk. And to mark Trustees Week 2021, we're going to be interviewing some local people who are involved with trustees of local charities to find out a bit more about them and their roles and what they enjoy about being trustees. And today I'm joined by Caroline Elliott. Caroline, would you like to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your role as a trustee? Okay, yep. Yeah. Well, as you say, my name is Caroline Elliott. I am a trustee for the Magdalen Group, in, um, which is based in Norwich, uh, but covers the whole of Norfolk. Um, my role uh, um, in, as a trustee that I, um, I go to about four meetings, four trustees meetings a year, but I'm also responsible, the trustee that's responsible for health and safety. Um, so any health and safety issues that come up um, are run past me, um, just so that I know what's going on in the Magnum Group. And I'm also on the uh, Employment and Remuneration Board uh, or Committee, um, and that meets uh, just before every trustees meeting so um, we can discuss things that uh, and agree things that then don't have to, we don't have to go into great detail at trustees meetings, but that covers um, whether the uh, people who work in the Magdalene group um, get a pay rise or um, and also the who gets employed. I have done some um, interviews before. Um, I've also done a course um, for Warner interviews, which we're now carrying out in the Magdalene group. Um, so that's basically my role. Is that enough? Yeah. Thank you. That sounds really interesting. So what attracted you to the role of trustee? Right. OK, well, um, I've only lived in Norfolk for 20 years, which um, sounds a long time to me, but um, it's, it's a very small amount of time compared to most people. Um, and when I moved here, my husband um, joined a uh, rotary and I was therefore a rotary wife and we had somebody come to talk to us from the Magdalene group. And I sat there listening to this um, young lady telling us about the things that happens. And in those days, um, we dealt mainly with um, prostitutes on the streets, um, which it has changed quite a bit um, since then, but um, that was the, the biggest thing. Uh, we'd go out at night um, and take them coffee, tea, chocolate, um, and just talk to them just so that they had somebody, you know, they knew that somebody cared for them, basically. And I sat there thinking, wow, this is going on in um, Norwich. And... I don't know anything about this. This is, at the time, um, I was both horrified and fascinated with it. But anyway, I, I parked that idea about the Magdalene Group. And a few years later, I um, gave up working um, and um, completely out of the blue, um, met somebody who, um, his wife was a trustee. And, um, and he said, oh, Caroline, what are you doing these days? And I said, well, you know, I haven't really started doing anything I've, I've given up work and um so I've got a bit more time and he said had you ever thought of becoming a trustee of the Magdalene group and of course as soon as he said that I thought actually yes I would like to be involved because yes I did find it a very interesting charity that I thought I would like to learn more about it so that's how it happened basically so when, when you when you decided that you, you might be interested do you have any worries or concerns about about the role of trustee um, yes, because um, I'd never been a trustee. I'd been on, um, I'd been a governor, school governor when I first moved up here. Um, and um, I've obviously been on other committees for various things, but never as a trustee. So I really didn't know a lot about what, a what was involved with a trustee. Um, I also, when, when I went to my first trustees meeting um, and I met all these people that were sat around the table and um, my worry was, you know, well, what am I bringing to the table? Because I don't have any, uh, I don't have a professional background. Um, you know, I, I've never done anything in, in any of the fields that are involved with the Magdalene Group. You know, all I, all I felt at the time was what I thought was the fact that I'm um, a mother and, um, and a concern for for these women um mm -hmm. so and i thought is this enough you know but i've since learned yes it is so yeah so that was that was my worries but i've got over it now mm -hmm. and uh, believe it or not i did sit for several meetings without saying a word because i was just you know felt i wasn't going to wasn't sure how i could contribute to to the meetings but um i'm not, i'm not like that now you'll be pleased to know yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> and, and so what do you enjoy about being a trustee? I enjoy with the Magdalen Group. I mean, obviously, I, I've only got, I can only tell you from the Magdalen Group um, charity, but um, that charity has grown so much over the years. I mean, when I became a, um, a trustee, we had um, one paid member um, and the rest were all volunteers. Um, and now we have um, a chief exec. Um, we have admin people, we have a whole group of girls that, that work in various aspects of the Magdalen group. I mean, it, when it, I first joined, we only helped um, to, um, women on the streets, but now we um, go into schools um, and talk to children about um, all sorts of, you know, to, um, how to not get into that position. Mm -hmm. um, because it's very difficult to stop someone becoming a prostitute because they have so, so many issues. Um, we can help their lives, we can help it be less complicated, but it's difficult, you know, once a woman goes down that road, it's difficult to bring them back. But what, what I found most exciting was now we're looking at um, stopping them getting there in the first mm -hmm. place. So, um, so yeah, so it's grown and um, I find it fascinating. And uh, over the last few years, I've been thinking you know well maybe I should stop now I should let somebody else um, perhaps with a, more of a professional background come in and, and and take over and then I go to the trustees meeting and um, our chief exec says right we're now going to work on this project we've decided we're going to go into housing and and I think oh no I'm not going to I'm not going to leave just yet because I want to see how this goes through so yeah, I'm just wondering now whether I, I will reach a point where I'll say no, enough, you know. But anyway, yeah, so I do find it very exciting now, I must say. That sounds really, yes, sound very exciting. <laughs> Lots going on. So if somebody, you know, was thinking they might be interested in being a trustee or a bit hesitant, what would you, what would you say to them? What would you, how would you encourage them to, to maybe have a look at the role? Well, I, I mean, like me, you know, when I learned, I learned a little bit about it beforehand. So yes, so if you, I mean, you might sort of, if you find a bit more about it, look, go in, you know, go and meet people, talk to them, probably go and find another trustee that you could talk to. Um, but if you feel, I mean, actually, and I did none of those things. So I literally just turned up um, for the first meeting, but um, I, th I would recommend people, people um, becoming a trustee because it can be very re rewarding as I've, I've found and you do learn an awful lot. Um, um, what else can I say really? Um, yeah, go for it, go for it. I, <laughs> yes, yes, become a trustee, yes, definitely. Thank you very much, Caroline, for, for your insight and um, thank you, very, thank you. Thank you, thank you for asking me. <laughs>